turning now to our climate in crisis. Scientists from around the world have documented record after record in the Earth's climate system in what's known as the state of the climate report. As Cynthia Pimentel reports, this annual physical of the Earth's system has many signals of a climate breakdown. The international report confirms record high greenhouse gases, record high global sea levels, and record ocean heat in 2022. The state of the climate, now in its 33rd issue, is released every summer, and the annual review is led by NOAA and the American Meteorological Society with more than 570 scientists in over 60 countries. I want to share with you some of the notable findings as well as offer some simple solutions we can take right now to help heal the planet. We hear about carbon dioxide concentration from the burning of fossil fuels, transportation, changing up the land. But what about methane and nitrous oxide that also hit new highs? The sources of these are huge in the agricultural sector. When a cow burps or releases gas, that releases methane. So maybe changing up our diets, wasting less food, using less fertilizer could be kicked into high gear to tackle the emission levels in what's left of 2023 and beyond. As far as CO2, consider going electric, biking, walking. It's not only good for the planet, but good for your health too. 2022 was among the sixth warmest years since records began in the mid to late 1800s. And while most people can find a cooling center or turn on the AC in the car or at home or drive to a nice coastline for relief, for others, particularly poorer nations or people of color, that's not as easy. You're seeing more and more air conditioning, which is you know, prevalent in the United States, not an option for many people in India, for example, where hundreds of millions lack electricity. Um, so we uh, we just have to think about, um, you know, using trees and and natural solutions more and always reducing fossil fuel use. Our oceans are also hitting a breaking point, and the evidence is crystal clear when people dip their toes into the Gulf Coast, water's running 80, 90, 100 degrees warm. I mean, that's almost, that's almost warm enough to cook fish. Um, the ocean will keep on absorbing carbon dioxide, keep on um, you know, taking up our pollution, keep on getting more and more acidic, which also harms organisms in the oceans. Another finding from the report that I want to share with you, it was the fifth warmest year in the 120 year record and the amount of multi-year ice, ice that survives at least one summer during the melt season, continued to decline. So only a slice of ice older than four years old, the barely visible white there that you see on your screen remains in the Arctic year round, meaning that the area is not cold enough. Most of the people watching this interview are likely to see the Arctic be free of ice in summer. The Arctic's the part of the world that's changing the fastest and it will have enormous consequences, is having enormous consequences, even though it's a long way away from many of us. Overall, 2022 was unusual. 2023, even weirder as we wrap up the hottest summer on record. The State of the Climate Report will serve us and future generations to continue documenting and sharing the rapidly changing conditions in our warming world. There were many notable no events in the report and only a bit of time to cover them here, but we're going to put a link on our website, NBCBayArea.com. You can find it under the Climate in Crisis tab. I'm Cynthia Pimentel. Back to you.